Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to our Python programming series. In today's tutorial, we're diving deep into a fun and visually appealing project, creating a matrix-like screen with Python using the tkinter module. Let's get started. We begin by importing the necessary modules, tkinter, random, and anum. tkinter is a Python binding to the TK GUI toolkit and is the standard Python interface to TK. Random gives us the ability to generate random numbers which is useful in our script, and enum is for creating enumerations, which are a set of symbolic names bound to unique, constant values. We then define a character type enumeration class. Enumerations are iterable, they can be checked for equality, and they can be used in string formatting, just like str or int values. This makes our code more readable by giving names to the integer values we were using to decide which random character to generate. Next, we have our matrix screen class. This is the centerpiece of our script. Inside this class, we define our initialization method underscore underscore init underscore underscore, which sets up the basic configuration of our application, the window size, title, background color, and more. During initialization, we also generate a list of special characters that we use later in the script. The isolum method checks if a string contains only alphabets or numbers. We then define our matrix underscore display, a text widget from tkinter where we will be showing our matrix display. The pack method organizes it in the window. We also set our update underscore interval and line underscore length here, which determine how fast our display updates and how long each line in the display is. Next, we have the random underscore char method. This method uses our character type enumeration to determine which type of character to generate. Then, we have the update underscore matrix method. This method generates a new line of random characters, inserts it into our matrix display, and then schedules the next update. The new line is generated by concatenating random characters, the number of which is determined by line underscore length. The after method from tkinter allows us to continuously update our display every update underscore interval milliseconds. Finally, we come to the main part of our script. We instantiate our matrix screen class, start the matrix display updates using update underscore matrix method, and then start our tkinter main loop using main loop. So here's our final code. If you look at it, you'll see that we're using an object-oriented approach, which helps us keep our code clean and organized. We have a main class called matrix screen that does most of the heavy lifting. And that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into building a matrix-like screen with Python and tkinter. This project is a fantastic example of how you can leverage the power of Python to build fun and visually appealing applications while learning important programming concepts. Remember, the key to mastering programming is practice. So, I encourage you to experiment with this script. Perhaps, you can try to modify it and add new features, like changing colors, speeds or even the characters being displayed. In the next video, we'll be exploring more Python projects and concepts. So, stay tuned, keep coding, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.